down in the bottom right corner. The liftoff zone. Yeah. And finally, the stairs. it settles down, and uh, it settles down, and uh, a few people come up to see you, and the one that just yells out says, "The dip- yells out the diplomatic mission from Yuma already got here. What's going on here?" Well, he will just gonna say he, he looks wide eyed. He's never seen anything like this before. He's just looking around. And then Whoa. the Yuma official gets up and says, oh, Sorry, good sir, uh, let me explain. Uh, these people have done a wondrous thing for Yuma, and we gifted them a ride on this contraption because they needed to get to your city. All right, this is official, U- consider this official Yuma business. Write it, we, we'll write, it, write its use off on Yuma's, on Yuma's dime. And then the guy is just like, like looking confused and says, "They don't look like any Yuma officials I've ever seen." But well, if it's on your dime, I guess everyone else will be fine with it. Uh, he looks over at all of you and says, "You can get out of your seats now." Yeah, Angelo. It's the temperature light. Angelo unbuckles and just kind of like climbs up at, onto the ground. What's the weather like in, in... Oh, it's a clear day. Is it, like, how much colder is it compared to Yuma, I guess? Like, is this a big major plunge in temperature, or... I mean, it's still summer, but... It's still summer, so it's, it's like, I don't know, like, 50 degrees, 60 degrees. Okay. Not, like, yeah. Yeah. Helena does, you know, like maybe like pull the draw the strings on her hoodie a bit more, but you know, or is otherwise. That was my main thing. You know, she's never like that's still within the realm of temperatures she's experienced before. Yeah. And fish too. Helena is. Cool. Yeah, Helena is very wide eyed. Like you know, you see her eyes are like dilated. You know, massively. Um, what does her elven eye see? These are her cat eyes. Her cat eye, she has, even if she's technically genetically more elf than cat, her eyes are very dominated by her cat genes. (laughs) What does her elven ears hear? The same thing as anyone else's, sweet. Thank you very much. (laughs) Actually, the shape of the ears mean that she wouldn't hear the same as everyone else. Exactly. The acoustics would be different. Yeah. And yeah, so you're directed towards where you can be let out off into Central Business District and where you'll be able to get your bearings. While the Yuma person stays behind to talk about uh, the expenses of using the of uh, of of authorizing the use of that. Just as we're kind of like getting processed through, Angelo just turns and says to one, "Is there something of a locker room around here somewhere I might be able to quickly change?" Uh, sure. Yeah, we got we got a bathroom back in that building over th- back in the uh, checkpoint building over here. Much appreciated. Yeah, Angelo just kind of, like, heads away from the group for a moment, comes back out, and he has gone back into his old, kind of, like, his robes. The ones you started out the party in, or, like... Yeah, the more... the more exuberant robes. Yeah. Yeah. He's gone, taken off the, like, leather advent... the kind of, like, styled adventurer's gherkin that he was... that he had been wearing for a bit. <laughs> Jerkin? Yeah, I... Fucking don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna remove that armor point. I'm also gonna not. I'm also looking at the wrong thing. Oh yeah, I don't. Th- oh yeah, I haven't put pulled up my character sheet this game. I mean, we... we've yet to roll this game. We yeah. we always do. It's like we've been alternating. We have like no roll sessions and then like action sessions. Oh, actually, that reminds me. Since we're doing, you know, I think someone someone needs an update. Oh, huh? 
actually first first off I need to make sure I save this picture. I forget I remember I think I remember where I got it. Um see if this accepts it. For God's sake. I've yeah. I was wondering where the O'Malley picture disappeared to. <laughs> oh, okay. What's he done? Look at his icon. Shut <laughs> <laughs> A powerful rat. Ne you wanna know what the file name is? Called actually. Uh, let me just uh, go to keyboard or oh. a powerful rat named Mortimer O'Malley High Snout. See, this is fucked up, because I actually, I, I'm never going to play this character, but I didn't make a character based on that, like, based on that image and whatnot. Um, Chedwick Rasmataz Cheese, um, <laughs> brother of Charles Entertainment, and he was going to be a, you know... Charles Entertainment is... Small-time huckster, not as successful as his older brother. I mean, Oma I mean O'Malley has siblings, so, you know... O'Malley could just go by Charles Entertainment Cheese when he needs to. His last name isn't Cheese, though. <laughs> what, since when has O'Malley not told a lie? So you're, but like, you would be retconning Heist now as his last name is my point. No, they're both lying. <laughs> they both just happen to change their last name or lie about their last name being the same thing. Exactly. <laughs> anyway, he will go away now for later. <laughs> what a wonderful update to have. Such a such a powerful image I made. Red Archies. <laughs> What's his theme? Oh yeah. Okay, so uh, you're directed. So as you all are around here now, uh, Dominica says, "All right, first order, <laughs> first point of order should be finding where Aaron and um, Aaron and Buka are. See if they've managed to procure their their shard." I think we should maybe split into groups for this. If we know oh. for a fact that Kate Lombard has one and he's heading to peace talks, do we know when those are, actually? They're being held right now, but we don't know when he'll we don't know when he'll get here. We've headed him off. Right. Well, I'd like to catch him in the act, as it were, so... Alright, we've got time to spare. So we're gonna wait till he gets to the city, rather than... Yes. That's okay. my idea. Wait for him to get to the city, and... I'd like to... I'd like to catch him at the peace talks. Might make for a good time. You wanna let him get that far? Silvana asked. I... I do. I want to hit him where it's going to hurt most. I respect that. Well, you know your father better than, better than we do, Dominica says. So, I'll trust your judgment. Sort of like just disembarking from the platform, you know. I'm I'm gonna pick at the scab one last time. I think this will be the one last final time. But just you know, at, uh, Felina does when she has a moment, you know, when things aren't. Try and like ask fish, you know, discreetly. Did you get a look at her when we were leaving? Sure did. 
Yeah, not going to comment then, you know, on the fact that she had a kid with her. Just going to let that be hanging. Sponsor. And, you know, Felina just kind of pats him on the shoulder and then, you know, goes to continue discussing strategy with the rest of the party. Now I can trace Eren's magic to find her, so I'll be able to catch up with her. If there's anything you you if there's anything you you need to do, then go ahead. Until Hello? until yeah. he arrives, I've got nothing in the city to really bide my time with. So I can help out. Just tell me what to do. Point me in the right direction. See if you can find some lodging. I don't I can't I can't I don't know if Aaron and Buca will be able to put us up for anything. Alright, we'll do. Angelo like is clearly a little bit restless now that we've arrived. Yeah. A little bit sketch. Also this dog keeps coming in, headbutting me. What? Polina does say, I'll go with you, you know, see Aaron and Buca. Which one was Buca? Was Buca the plant? Yeah, the plant person. I know what's what was Buca's, like, role at the circus again? He was uh, a ticket taker and a general, like, you know. Yeah. Rust about. Yeah. There we go. That's how you get, okay. the, that's how you get that dog to stop headbutting you. And was also helped out in some of the acts. Miscellaneous. So, yeah. Selena's going to go with Dominica, Arius, Fish, and Ossel to go find Aaron and Buca. And I guess the rest of you will go find lodging. Yeah, go with them first, because I'm sorry, Vess, I really need to go to the bathroom yeah, okay. now, so... Oh, okie dokie. Handle that scene, I'm gonna go. Be back in a minute. Alright. So Dominique is leading you around. Uh, she's following some traces. Elena does bring up, so, you know, you guys haven't gotten it, but... I, 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 I don't want to speak, you know, at all of, you know, Aaron and Buka are very nice, but... Something they were talking about with Kate Lombard getting it is... You know, or the Hydra, or the kid who had it. These gemstones tend to bring out, you know, the worst in people who are holding on to, who possess them. Is that something we should be at all, you know? Yes. I mean, what's the worst that could be happening with uh, Aaron and Buka? You know him better than I do. Aaron, no. Aaron has precautions to take. Buka will likely be the one holding it if they have it. And is there anything, you know, that could potentially be worrisome with Buka, or even if Aaron wound up holding it for some reason? To hold it, then she'd be able to weather its temptations. I have faith in her. Okay. If you say so. Have you been able to... How have you been able to... How have you been holding up, holding piece of the shard. Well, I'm not necessarily holding them directly. I mean, there is sort of in a, well, not alternate dimension or something exactly. Um, I was going to say that's an easy shorthand for it, but in this specific case, that's misleading. Um, they're in a sort of like semi-non-existent super state. They may exist or may not exist, but, you know, the fact that, you know, I have successfully, it seems to be that since they don't necessarily exist, you know, that's enough of a possibility of them not existing that they don't seem to have any effect. It's a good way to keep them in, you know, that both in and out of reality at the same time. That's that's very handy. Good to know. Yeah. And, you know, more importantly, it's a good way to keep them from getting stolen or anything like that. You know, if Basically, if I need them to exist in my bag, they can exist in my bag. But until that time, you know, if someone else looks in my bag, 
there can just be nothing in there or something else in there. So there's nothing anyone else can really do to steal it from me or for it to fall out or anything like that. And she leads you all to a uh, a an inn where uh, Yuka and Aaron are actually sitting uh, at uh, the uh, at a eating eating breakfast. Aaron and Buka look up and they're surprised to see you all, but they're like, "Oh, oh, wow, you're here." Evidently. Yeah, Dominica goes, all right, well, yeah, we haven't heard from you. What's going on with your, what's going on with your shard? As they all sit down at the table and Aaron just points out, Aaron just sighs and says, oh, well, it was quickly snatched up by some enterprising Emberwellians. And, well, well, what 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 I managed to be able to do was convince them that it was something valuable, but not necessarily something potent. I convinced them it was. I managed to convince them it was uh, more of a precious gem than anything that would wield great power. Uh, when what that means is that, well, tonight they're going to be auctioning it off. And I'm trying to figure out how exactly we're going to get it. Ooh, an auction heist. Fun. That's a classic. Well, and Felina kind of cracks her knuckles. You definitely have the right person for the job here. You have a plan? Yeah, I'm putting one together as we speak. Hmm. And Felina's thinking... So, where exactly do you know where it's being held now? Yep. Being held in, uh, it's being held in the auction house. Over in the market. Okay, this shouldn't be too bad. Might see if I can't, hmm. Should be simple enough to possess someone with clearance, move in. I could make a replica that lasts for a bit longer of a time. The last one I made lasted a while, but that's... Replica? Sketchy. Yeah, like Thank Felina you. with her copycat ring. Remember, you thought you were holding the gemstone and then it, you know, just oh, disappeared. Yeah. Cause the... That's what Felina's saying. I can make a duplicate, but those, you know, tend to not last very long, especially if inspected or disturbed, you know, that's when they kind of puff out. So we would ideally want something that, you know, could... Pass the muster for a bit. Although, it, they don't necessarily have to get it to the auction or something like that, you know, if they just... Although, if we made an actual physical duplica of it, and just, you know, enchanted it to glow or something like that, you know, I mean, as long as they think it's valuable, they don't even realize that it has power. They might not realize they've been scammed at all. That would be the goal. Hmm. Angela would be good at that. I mean, you're magic. Do you think you could, you know, like, whip up a just glowing rock that looks like that? I give could. it the right aura? I could, I, could give, I could give it an aura for a while, yeah. If we do that, I should be able to get in, you know, possess someone, you know, just with a bag, go in, make the swap. That should be no problem. Hmm. It is good that you came along, then. What can I say? It's, you know, this is what I'm good for. Be sure not to hold it in your hands for too long. Oh, I'll be fine. You know, just like I said, pop the fake out of the bag, pop the real one in, you know, won't have to touch it for more than, you know, Ideally, I shouldn't even have to touch it at all. I can just scoop it straight into the bag without, you know, moving it. The others haven't been a problem so far, Helena says, grinning. 
Yeah, she nods, and the yeah, the others seem to think it's a good idea. Getting influenced by the shard sounds like a skill issue. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. I can't believe Felina's going to be the one to get jokerified by a rock. I, it's so good that none of these gemstones have had any kind of influence on Felina so far. I'm glad she's just been, you know, perfectly... So far. The, thi the thing is, Felina is in fact... I want to, you know, maybe I shouldn't just tip, you know, the hand, but Felina has absolutely been getting, you know, subtly influenced by these gemstones the past couple sessions. Hmm. Oh no. Felina, why are you... They are absolutely having an, an impact on her. Oh, is that why she was dumb and fucking gave her body to a whole swarm? No, that was more just, you know, regular Felina's curiosity. Um, I'm not gonna take that as an excuse for that one. No, she's had some other, other things that were... ...affecting her. Remember, if you'll recall, even in a previous session, she was specifically taking out, you know, the stone and just holding it and staring at it, you know, staring into it, holding it up for a while on a rooftop in private. True. Yeah. Before making some potentially dangerous, some decisions that we don't know about yet. So she's going to be the one to kill Hero's father at the end when we think we've won. Oh no. That Polina, like Polina is just the actual villain of this story. You all think it's gonna be Ryu, but it that it's this whole time. It's Polina. You're gonna have to put her down. Okay. That bitch. So uh Aaron lets you know that Aaron says that she can have you can create a a a good looking duplicate uh before for, for the shard uh before you know sometime before the auction happens i'll you know pace the place you know get buka if you want to come with me you know you i'm assuming you've seen that you know show me the place i'll try and get a sense or you know schedule who i would need to possess that sort of thing and you know then once it's ready, okay. make this. Wait, can you not hear me? Oh, he okay. said, "Yeah, sure, I'll show you there." Oh, sorry, sorry, I, I missed her. Um, yeah, and you know, once I figure out, you know, exact, it shouldn't be too tricky. I mean, you know, this is kind of the sort of thing I'm good at. I'll just need to set up, you know, a small bag as. Schrodinger bag, and then taking the fake, you know, pop it out, you know, no one will notice anything. Uh, the only thing is, whoever I possess, you know, they'll definitely know they lost time. That's the main concern, you know, and I'm certainly not interested in killing anyone or anything. I don't know. It's convenient if I find anyone, you know, likes to have a drink or something, you know, that way, like, if they just if they just think they drank too much and passed out, you know, something like that sort of ideal. But that's wishful thinking. Other than that, you know, if someone just goes missing for a little bit, they may think something's up, but presumably that will just be them doing a full inventory. And again, they shouldn't realize anything's wrong with the stone. Hmm. Well, I'll think about that. Other than that, of course, I can always just stay possessing them until after the auction's over. Which, you know, that's a bit of a pain in the ass on my end, but nothing I'm not equipped to do. And even then, if they get suspicious, they'll just think one of the employees is, you know, trying to rip off something from the auction. Not that they're possessed by a ghost or whatever. I mean, that's that's a pretty standard, you know excuse like oh no i wasn't committing those crimes i was uh just possessed by an evil spirit it's not my fault you know like anyone ever listens to that you know you talk right. to yourself again 
Hero's not even here. She's talking to some of our beloved NPCs, like Dominica and Aaron and Buka. Oh no, that's just the voice in her head asking her. She's uh, like ninety percent of what she's doing right now by like you know talking out loud is just like she wants to impress Dominica. She just wants Dominica to be like, wow, you're so smart and clever, Felina, and so good at stealing. I'm really impressed by you. I'll be right back then. Yeah, Dominica says, well, Felina, I guess we'll have to leave it in your capable hands. Felina resists saying her first... She immediately has an instinct on what to say in response to that, and, you know, uses all of her willpower to resist making that comment. Just, I don't know, make some little... You have no idea how capable these hands can be. That's more, that's more, you know, plausible, deniable, plausibly. Well. Where um, so... Oh, uh, what? Where is speed? Where is uh, he? Oh, Snake is back. Hello, I've been I've been back for ages. Oh, have you? Oh, never mind. But my gosh, I, I did say right. Yeah. yeah oh, I, I I I think I just missed you yeah. being. Back. I knew you were taking a bathroom, but yeah. No, oh, I'm back. Angelo went out to find accommodations, yeah. even though we didn't know whether we'd have accommodations yet. Yeah. Looks like Aaron is just Aaron and Buka have just been in in, but uh, not a particularly big one. So you know, there's ten of you. Mm. You are gonna have to find your own accommodation, probably. I'm not finding accommodation for all of us. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're out with not just Hero, but also Scott and Kochi, and you know, like yeah. you have. And Fish, too. I forget who Fish went with. No, Fish went with you. Okay. You you went with all the circus people to find Aaron, and the rest of the non-circus people stayed with Hero and Angelo. I can't believe, like, it's very funny to me now that fi that Felina thinks Fish has an incest baby. Like, incorrectly. <laughs> But now, like, it's even worse than the actual reality of the situation. We've gone from Felina not knowing to Felina and Fish. Th imagine how, like, fucked up it would be if Felina has this emotional breakthrough with Fish and, like, convinces him to go, you know, take responsibility, do something for the child he's put into the world, and he gets there, actually works at the nerve, and then it's just, it's not your baby? The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor fish. It's not your baby. I mean, it's we are your it's kind cousin. Of a good thing. It means this is yeah. not, not an incest. No, it, it it is a good thing. It's a very good thing. But just like after if oh, no, fish I had the that while I'm yeah. talking to sweet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It it's a case where being a cuck is a absolute blessing. All right, that's going in game time quotes. <laughs> Don't remember to. Oh, wonderful. Like the only game time quote that's actually like attributed to someone is like had to point out it was Swede who was talking about humans milking an ape and how that wouldn't be that yeah. fucked up. Okay. Yeah. yeah what the fuck? No, 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 no. Yeah, no. It keeps politics out of mentioning. You should attribute this to it. That to was that was a character. I wasn't saying that. A character was saying that. That's different. Well, fine. Say like. I don't know. Say say that say um what's her name? Uh, Felina as played by Emily. Jeez. That wasn't even Felina who said that, Swede. SMH. Hooray. 
<laughs> Salt <Stop>. Adventure! <laughs> I feel like Bella could get cancelled someday. I don't know what she would do, but it just feels like she would finally start to have success and then get fucking cancelled. No one wants to talk about her. Her, the, her legend is problematic. I don't think Felina would ever get cancelled. It doesn't matter what she does, she would always, you know, manage to, like, get out of it. Or maybe it's a nine lives scenario. She can get cancelled nine times before it sticks. So let's go to the other, the other squad. The, the, the B squad. The logic B. squad. B squad. As you're walking around looking for in, uh, I say Kochi says. Then I did not know they could build buildings this high up. It's an advanced city. I guess he always put them. In, yeah, he was just wide eyed, just almost tr- stumbling over. My God. <laughs> So big, so tall. Did it? No. So big, so tall. Oh well, yeah, no. He was just taken back by everything. There's nothing to say. <laughs> what happened to Sneak? I'm here, Angelo. Angelo acknowledged you. Just doesn't care. Yeah. yeah. Angelo's not impressed. He's seen this before, Hero. He's been dragged yeah. around. Yeah. This is like unlike anything I've ever seen. Always been here. It's been here as long as I've known it to be. It's just it's just big buildings. It's just take what you have everywhere else and make it taller. Is it really that impressive? Yes. Where I'm from, sure, there's some tall castles and stuff, but never buildings like this. And they do what they need to, don't they? Yes. Still. This is amazing. What's this? What's this? Colors everywhere. What's this? What's this? This white thing in the air. No hero has seen. No. Hero is, hero is just being seeing all the advertisements. It's, they're working on him. <laughs> He's getting ah. crazy. Like, actually, no. This place is sick. Let's. The Warmonger City has it right because the buildings are huge. Me, meanwhile, actually, you know, is not going... the Warmonger City, the War Profiteering City. You are going to get that right. <laughs> Meanwhile, Axis suddenly, hmm, you've been cut, you've been propagandized in Emberwell. <laughs> and he gets off his chair to run towards Emberwell. I think the Cold and Daddy he... would be opposed to this place just on the metric that the Cold Daddy digs down rather than building up. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> The complete opposite. X does that, by the way, sometimes. Yes, everyone at the nowhere is like, oh, there goes X again. <laughs> Fuck. Now I'm just imagining X is basically kind of like a fucking cat. He just disappears for days or weeks and then he comes back and all he just. He's fine. You wonder where the fuck he went. He just says he spread books. My god. Okay, so, uh, you're looking for an end. Yes. Uh, yes. let's see. I'm going to say, uh, Let's hello? see. You're 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 looking. Yeah. Hello. Oh hi. I I just I I just got back. Okay. 
So the the kind of inn you're looking for is, I'm guessing, one mostly for... Like, are you looking for one for everyone, or are you just looking for one for well, I the imagine, part? I think in Angelo's head, he was, like, told, get us an inn, and he was... Yeah, so he is thinking the whole group, actually. He is, yeah. like, thinking, okay, I need to cover everyone's bases. He does also want something close-ish to where the peace talks are going to happen. So, close, I guess you're close. also... So you're also looking for information on where that is. Yeah, pretty much. Right. So, roll in. Alright, first roll of the game. Let's fucking do this. We're off to a great start. Alright, the peace talks are being held uh, by, are being held where the board usually meets. So, around the center of the city. Mm. And the lodgings there can get pretty expensive. The lodgings close to there can get pretty expensive. Okay, he doesn't want it directly near, so maybe somewhere in, like, in the market area or the central business district. Probably market's the better bet. That'd probably host more people. Yeah. So, as you, you go through the market, and uh... You find an inn that has quite a few rooms open and fits more towards your budget. All right, you then. Uh, they're going to ask you for, let's see. So we've got uh, Aaron and Buka already have a room in another inn, but you can ask for, you want to ask for enough rooms for 10 people. Yeah. So, probably like some shared accommodations here and there where appropriate, yeah. or like you know rooms which have two beds. Yeah, it's probably like five rooms in all. Five rooms. Alrighty. So they're gonna ask that. They're gonna ask you for a down payment of fifty coin. Mm. Hmm. I'm not sure whether I should try and parlay, but I actually no, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna play up the fucking route Angelo is on. This is gonna backfire horribly. This is a bad move. Let's do it. Okay. Angelo just kind of like here's the fifty coin, and he's like, "Hmm, that's quite that's quite heavy. Do you think we could knock that down to thirty? Only... On what grounds? Huh? For on what grounds? Angelo like leans on the counter. I'm Keith Lombard Jr. My father is coming in real soon, and it's quite imperative that we get a room. Oh, wow. You'd understand that you might know my father by name, Tenzus Official. He can get rather angry when people are short with him, if you understand. Yeah, he's like, well, I would have thought they were, they'd be setting him up somewhere close to the board. Angelo just Angelo just kind of like glares at him, like he glares at the person behind the desk. <laughs> All right, roll charisma. No, roll strength. Oh shit! Uh, my new move, inter my new move, interrogator. When you parlay using threats of impending violence as leverage, you may use strength instead of charisma. Jesus Christ! Oh my! All right. <laughs> Good thing I fucking did, I guess. <laughs> Even though that's only a half success. Yeah, he uh backs up a little bit and looks towards like where security is. Uh and just sort of nods slowly and just says thirty coin. And you're Keith Lombard Jr. Angelo just puts the thirty on the on the desk. So where's Keith Lombard? I told you, I've been sent ahead. And when should we be expecting him? He says, starting to count the coin. The coin's good. Don't ask needless questions. Alright. Go ahead. Rooms are up there all for you. 
I'll make sure everyone here knows that Keith Lombard's coming to stay. Yeah, after that, he'll be and you okay with this, Angelo? Like, you think? I just want that on his mind when he turns up. Okay. Right, so yeah, you procured rooms. For 30 coin. For 30 coin. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so... Uh, I guess you basically can go back out and link up with Felita and everyone else? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. This is somewhere in the markets. Uh, I'm gonna say that yeah, you basically... you, you Felita, you were having Buka take you to the auction house, right? Uh, yes. Alright. So or having okay. Buka show me there. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to say, like, you, you see each other along the way, since you're both in the market area. So, hey, yeah. oh, how'd it go? We got any rooms? Think? Huh? Yeah, you know, we, yeah. we, we have encountered each other. Yeah. Polina asked. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, got sorry. any rooms? We've got rooms. Just, uh... A word to each of you. While we're in that building, I am Keith Lombard Jr. Paulina, you know, raises an eyebrow. What brought that up? Well, I said I wanted to meet him at the conference, and we might, but maybe it's better that he learns of this, and either it will have his mind wandering elsewhere, or he'll come to the hotel where... It might be be it might be easier that he comes to us rather than us trying to get into a peace talk. That's a strategy. How are you? Uh, how are you feeling about all that? Horrified and excited. I've got a plan. God knows if it'll work. I hope that it does, because the ramifications should it fail will be disastrous. Well, that sounds exciting. I'll be excited, but be ready for anything. I hope he takes the bait, but if he doesn't, at least it should rattle his mind a little if he gets the word. Excuse me. And Buka speaks up says, well, we're about to get we're about to go see where one of the other shards is. Right. What are we dealing with? An auction. The Emberwellians got their hands on it and uh Aaron managed to convince them that it was just a gem worth quite a bit, but a gem without power. So they're trying to, so they're going to be auctioning it off and Felina here came up with a plan to uh, take it, but oh, she needs to see place. the place first. Yeah, just gotta go case the place and, you know, get a sense of who I'm gonna possess routine and things. Helena then stops for a moment and asks, you know, how, how good would you say you are at, like, you know, who here thinks they could knock someone out in one point? Oh, Sylvana! Yeah, Sylvana is. Mm-hmm. I need to possess someone. Hmm. Actually, do we, it would be better if we had some sort of like you know way to put this guy under. I you know need a guarantee he's gonna stay asleep for a while. You know, don't need to like knock him unconscious that much, but like knock him unconscious and uh, or her, and you know then give him some sort of you know something that's not gonna hurt him you know or anything long term, but just keep them safely under for a while. I can just, you know, possess them by force, but it's probably safer for this heist if they just, you know, go to sleep and don't wake up for about 12 hours or so. Right. So. 
Angela, you don't know if you could whip us up something to, like, put someone asleep for, you know, 12 hours or something, do you? can ask Aaron or Dominique, too, but, like... Well, potions... Aaron's already working on something. Potions aren't quite my specialty. I could probably do it with a spell. It wouldn't quite be a dedicated, you know, 12-hour yeah. go-to-sleep type of thing, but more of a hand-to-the-back-of-the-head zap kind of thing. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, if, if Ninja here, you know, bops him on the head, knocks him out, even just for 15 minutes, that should make him nice and pliable to keep him under for a while. And then I can just, you know, I just don't need him waking up while I'm halfway through, you know, using him for the heist. Hmm. No. And I mean, it shouldn't come back to him. And even if it does, you know, it should be, you know, he'll have a good enough alibi being unconscious, whatever. But not that anyone would be able to trace that back to us. Okay, maybe then the zap strategy wouldn't work. That would leave quite a distinct marker of what happened. Well, I'll talk to Dominica about it, too. You know, she's, you know, she's your senpai in this. Um, but, you know, she might have something, too. I'm gonna go case the place, but just, uh, yeah, do me a favor, chat with her, you know, see about if you can come up with something to keep a, someone asleep for at least 12 hours. Will do. I'll go have a word. Actually, wait, when's the auction? Until after the auction is over. Let's say that. So you want something that can put someone out for the length of an auction? Well, until the auction, you know, like, is... Ah, yes. Because I, 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 it's probably safer if I just stay in his body until the auction happens. That way, you know, if suddenly a guard goes missing, they might inspect stuff before the auction. Would, would it be the end of the world for us? You know, I don't necessarily have to stay um, like that. I could always just make him look like he's drunk too and passed out. That would work. So I don't have to stick around in him too long. Sorry, I am rambling, thinking to myself, that's fun, I haven't done a heist like this in a while. This is my bread and butter. All right. Yes, back in the wheelhouse. Where's Dominica? I'll go have a word. All oh, right. She, Fish, um, Aaron, you know, Ar Arius, they're all over. And Felina describes where they are at some other inn. Right. They well, shouldn't be too far. Besides all of that, then, what's my role in all of this? Uh, I think, I mean, you know, if I were you, I'd mostly be working on prepping for, you know, whatever's going to come when Big Daddy gets to town. Right. Okay, I will do that then. A bit of help from, you know, if I, with you and Dominica, just getting me, you know, some sort of potion or spell or something like that. Other than that, Buka helping me, you know check the place out, and then Sylvana just, you know, giving whoever the guard is, you know, knocking them out for five minutes or so. That should be all I need to get the gem out, or the shard out. Polina, you know, just like, again, stretches her arms. This is why every party needs a thief. And hey, you know, this do they, way... Do they really? It's, it's yeah. helping now. And, and believe it or not, Hero, this is actually doing them a favor too. As far as they know, it's just some pretty and expensive gemstone or something like that. They don't know that it's, you know, a thing of power. And, I mean, we've seen what these stones can do to people. You know, they're dangerous. They corrupt people's minds and, you know, things like that. Is this it? way, I'm replacing the stone with a perfectly harmless, pretty rock, which is all they think it is, so they're happy. They get their pretty glowing rock, they don't get corrupted by dangerous magic, and we get another shard. It is rather surprising that, well, Emberwellians would be slipped up on that. Eren played them quite well, but they... They like their magical power sources in this town. It's really what they're all about. Well, you know, her. she's good at, you know, getting what she wants out of people. You know, being manipulative, all that stuff. True, but 
No, I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. It works. And honestly, the less the less exquisite gems that remain in this town, the better. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna I'm gonna go tell Dominique. I'm feeling rather rather awake in this town. Yeah, Angelo just kind of like, and then he just kind of head like turns and heads off. Like he doesn't say goodbye; he just kind of like turns and heads towards where he's been told Dominique is. Yeah, Helena just sort of comments to Hero and Sullivan. It he seems uh, he's he's guy? yeah, that's different. Yeah, yeah, not not sure what's going on with him. Well, uh, I don't like it, though. You don't? I don't know. I can't decide. Maybe this is... Maybe he's doing good. I'm not sure yet. Fucking translate a note on screen. No, just a check, like a subtitle joke on screen. Angelo is not doing good. <laughs> Angelo, are you okay? Yes! I'm not. We, we all have our... And Hero, you know, Hero is doing good. Meanwhile, Felina and Angelo are both go Felina going through there. I mean, he's doing good, except being eat it's eating at him that his fucking, you know, thing is, you know, family is probably dying. Oh, yeah. But he's not, you know, like, on the edge of having a, a villain turn or something. At least he knows his sister is okay. Yeah. Yeah, at least my sister and you know his mom and dad can take care of themselves. His granddad can take care of himself. No. God damn yeah. Everyone, oh no, the cows. Aside from the, aside from the sister, basically everything in Hero's life is falling apart or potentially falling apart. Oh no, they found the cows. <laughs> it's weird to think that Hero's family has been fighting Ryu for like several weeks now without rest. <laughs> Or oh, maybe Ryu isn't there. Maybe Ryu is a ah, fucking hell. Ryu got I'm... lost on the way and like fucked up the whole Mandala school just by passing by. I knew I should have taken a ride to the Albuquerque. Ryu's in Grimwood. God, one of my favorite <laughs> dumb jokes from I can't remember which Muppet movie it is. It's like it's a joke I never see anyone talk about, but it's, I think it really did do a number on my fucking sense of humor. Was like. Take a left when you come to the fork in the road, and you just see a literal fork in the road. Yeah, that's. A... <laughs> I, can't believe, I can't believe that. It's the Muppet movie. Yeah, it's yeah. the Muppet movie. It's just the Muppet movie. It's just that one. Yeah. I've seen the Muppet movie. I need to. I think that just set me on the path of liking really blunt, stupid jokes. Yeah. Yeah, no, like if you grew up with the Muppets, Muppets and stuff. And how. It has has strong like um you know airplane energy to it too. Yeah. What if we get to Heroes Island and just all his family they just like got killed by Ryu instantly? Oh my god! I like a real dark turn. I forgot about Kermit's fucking his uh, delivery, but it's <laughs> it's great. I don't believe that. He just doesn't believe it. Yeah, it's just a good. It's just such a. It's so bluntly delivered. It's great. Oh. What if we oh. get to the island and Hero's family instantly kicked Ryu's shit in? Like, just completely <laughs> neutralized him as a threat instantly. Problem like, solved. Oh, yeah. This wasn't an island full of martial artists. We should have expected yeah. that they'd just be yeah. fine. Yeah. One uh, of my more favorite, that... like, little things in, like, a comedy movie is. Uh, it's in Naked Gun. Hmm. Uh, there's a bit where there, 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 there's like a police lab. Oh, is it the banana? And... You've got something on your cheek. No, no, no. It's really subtle. I, I, it might even be a goof or something. But I can't imagine it not being on purpose. Just like, look like the word lab is is flipped around. To oh, yeah. Only half mirrored. 
<laughs> yeah. So like, like, if you're is... looking from the inside, you can see the word lab. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know. I don't think I picked up on that. Or at least I don't know. What, what was this from, Neil? Naked Gun. Naked Gun. Oh, no, that must one be my, like a fucking... One of my favorite baseball. fucking movies as well. Yeah. I actually don't think I've seen Naked Gun. I've seen Airplane, but I've never seen Naked Gun. Well, really damn, fun. you have oh movies God, to watch. Police lab. I've seen a lot of jokes from it, but... Oh. That reminds me of, like, <laughs> a joke. Police lab. Yeah, police <laughs> lab. And it's like, if you were coming at that from the other side, lab would be reversed for no reason. Yeah, police that's really good. Lab? Lab? <laughs> that reminds me of a you said banana. That reminds me of a thing that slipped rent free in my head. Basically, it's from an old. Um, basically, it was like from an old kids show. And it's basically just uh, a bunch of kids at school. They were making like it was like a kids show. They were talking about kids making their own movie. And I think they were doing like a spy movie thing. But God, this it's so weird. I can't say it in sweet. I mean, I can say it in Swedish, but it would make sense. But basically, they're making a spy movie, and one of the kids, they're, they're you know, one of the kids is playing Q, and the other is uh, playing, uh, playing uh, Bond equivalent, basically. And he hands him, and here's the thing: he just tells him, like, he is this special laser banana. <laughs> just gives him to it, but like, the way it's delivered in Swedish is. Just, then speciala laser bananen. I don't know, it's just lived rent free my head. Because it's not good. The kid is obviously awful. But god damn, that is a performance. Oh, that's that's the downside of having being not <laughs> natively English. Like a lot of jokes and stuff mm. are so it? fucking it's a fucking James. It's a James story, but James told me like a time he was watching Naked Gun with a friend of his, and there's you know the scene at the beginning when Nordberg just like gets on the ship and then just gets fucked up and falls into the water. Yeah, they're both laughing at that, and then James's friend just turns to him and says with like the straightest face, "I don't think he did it." <laughs> to just go from laughing at like OJ Simpson doing a bunch of slapstick 